and welcome to another episode of Talk the Talk with me, Desh Palay Bechen. Joining me in studio again is Chantal Potgitter, the marketing manager of the Hatfield Motor Group as well as the Fury Motor Group, which is now a division of the Hatfield Motor Group. So let's welcome Chantal. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Sariti Solutions. Hello, Chantal. Hello, everybody. Okay, so Chantal, um, let's start off with the session. I mean, we talk about marketing and you have an exciting job, but it's stressful. But let's talk about and let's enlighten our viewers in terms of what to expect and what marketing is all about. So my first question to you is, what would you say is the necessary credentials to becoming a marketing manager? And this is especially for all our youngsters that are watching. I think the key thing would be to, to you need to have a metric. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you need to have a metric is because your employer wants to see that you've got dedication and commitment to finish a project. Mm -hmm. And the first project as a up and coming working person is to say that I've got matric. So yes, there are mitigating circumstances why somebody wouldn't have a matric, but then to see an effort that that person has applied in order to get a, 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 a education. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, I, for a value benefit for a big company, I do think that a, a, a BCom or a BA marketing or business management degree or certificate mm -hmm. um, will add a significant value because even though many of us say I've done my BCom but I've never implemented what I've learned or what was in the textbooks or the textbooks are 20 years old, the fundamentals of marketing mm -hmm. has never changed. Mm -hmm. It's bringing people together and products and prices and promotions and all of these things together to formulate a strategy. So I do think that a tertiary education is going to get you to your level that you want to be so much quicker because otherwise you're going to have to work yourself through the ranks, which is also important, but you're going to, it's going to take so much longer to understand the fundamental um, foundations mm -hmm. that would be required for you to run the marketing manager position within a dealership or a dealer group. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, do you believe that social media exposure plays an important role for a company? I think it plays a significant role mm -hmm. for any company. It's the quickest way of sharing information currently. Yeah. And if it's WhatsApp status or if it's Facebook or Twitter or, or, or Instagram or LinkedIn, all of these social or digital media platforms actually immediately sends a message across Absolutely. so many and it extrapolates because you post it on one platform mm -hmm. and the next moment it gets extrapolated because the person that follows you and sees that tells 20 other people yeah. as a minimum mm -hmm. so it plays a significant role mm -hmm. and um, how can one develop time management skills and um, you know an essential characteristic to own uh, or to be as a marketing manager never wear a watch <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Switch off your phone. Now, time management is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So I think it's more become an element of multitasking management mm -hmm. and uh, filter skills mm -hmm. than it is necessarily time management because time doesn't even play a role when you are a marketing manager. I think it's more about how do you funnel certain requirements, certain needs, certain processes into such a way that it filters to where it needs to go and um, it happens simultaneously or via different channels that you can get the end results. So a, a time management is very difficult because there's only eight working hours yep. in a day. Mm -hmm. And I don't think in the motor industry anybody sticks to working hours yep. because people shop online after hours. Mm -hmm. So as a marketing manager, you need to make sure that that person gets captured or attended to yep. after hours or at least that they they, they, they will be attended to at some mm -hmm. other time. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've answered your question because time and I, I still haven't found this perfect course that teaches me how to do time right. management. I, I end up not looking at my watch ever <laughs> during the day because right. I'll realize it's four o'clock and I still have eight hours of work to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What advice can you give to women that are in marketing to stay motivated um, in order to maximize uh, in terms of time and productivity? 
I think my because that eight hours to fit it into thirty minutes, uh, you know, you know, you haven't got. I know it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's to never stop learning and to never use the tools that is presented to you at any given time. Mm -hmm. So we've got such amazing tools like um, Teams. Uh, as an example that came into the dealer network um, quite significantly because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So instead of driving for an hour to attend a meeting, uh, you can accomplish so much more by doing yeah. it on Teams. Mm -hmm. um, but personal interface and face-to-face right. -face plays a huge role, mm -hmm. especially in change management, yeah. in my opinion. Um, I might be wrong. But what I wanted to tell people is to it is difficult to get to everything, but the success in it lies is to get to the important things as quickly as possible, but mm -hmm. never forget the less important thing and also address it when you do have time. Absolutely. Can you share some of your success methods? Please share with us, okay, in terms of marketing um, a vehicle when uh, you experience measurable return, where you've experienced actually measurable return um, in your marketing effort. I would say retail is detail. And mm. always um, expect the unexpected and think like a customer. We, we sell cars every day. A customer buys a car once every three, five years, mm -hmm. depends. Mm -hmm. um, the customer does not know that Xenon headlights come standard in a BMW 3 Series. Right, right. We know. Mm -hmm. the customer doesn't know the electric windows come standard as part of a comfort line package in a VW Polo. We need to tell the customer that. Mm -hmm. The photo can't explain it. So the more detailed you are, and the more you speak the customer's lingo, mm -hmm. the easier it becomes to sell the car because right. the price becomes a byproduct. Uh -huh. Because that value proposition of that whole car is what the customer wants. Mm -hmm. And as long as he can, it's like buying a house. Right. Maybe I'm going off the point, but go to property 24. Mm -hmm. If you're on property 24, if there's no photograph, you're gonna go to the next property. Mm -hmm. If it says it's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms and a lounge, and it's two million rand but the next property is 2.2 million rand but it's got three bedrooms two bathrooms a lounge a dining room a kitchen a scullery a swimming pool a thousand square meter property uh, it's got all of, which one looks like a more value right, proposition right, right. okay so so i would say retail is detail okay so I, i'm going to take from that that if you're not going to sell cars you're going to sell property no okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you so much, Chantel, for joining us once again. And we can't wait to see you next month. It's a pleasure. Okay. Thanks, Okay. Thank you, viewers, for watching, commenting, and sharing our interviews and content. Our non-profit company is the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, as well as the Talk to Talk Studios, powered by Seriti Solutions, are aimed at recognizing women that are making a difference and contributing to our trade. We are not just relating stories of struggle and success, we are changing lives. Together, we are providing a platform to empower and uplift the women of our trade. And also, um, we are providing this platform to share our experiences as well as educate the future generations to explore the endless and exciting career opportunities in motoring South Africa. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Talk the Talk, and kindly get your friends, colleagues, and families to follow us on all our social media platforms. Yes, you heard me. We are now becoming so modern, moving over to TikTok and to Insta and to YouTube, so please follow us. Viewers, let's take the unwanted stress and complications out of purchasing your next vehicle. Please visit www.auto dot evo dot africa we have thousands of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy mfc accredited dealerships this newly introduced uh, car listing portal is amazing it's user friendly and can assist you from start to finish with your car buying process all details are displayed on the screen and there's a link in the caption of this video. Ladies, always remember to speak with honesty. When business gets tough, when leadership gets complicated, it's more important than ever to always speak the truth. If you have bad news, say so. If you have complicated information, express it. The truth might hurt for a while, but a lie will hurt forever.
court the best kind of success by speaking your truth in every circumstance. And on that note, I would like to remind you that the question should never be, who's going to let me? It should always be, who's going to stop me? Absolutely. <laughs>